This lesson is on pivot tables. So pivot tables automatically summarize your data for you so you can slice and dice it in a million different ways. So you can forget about creating lots of summary calculations. You don't need them. You can let Excel do the work for you. So we're looking at our order sheet here in our sample file. The first thing that we might want to do is take a look at what we might be interested in, in knowing, how we might want to summarize this data. An example is we might want to know sales or quantity by product number. Now what we can do is we can go over to the Insert tab and click either the blank pivot table option or recommended pivot tables. We'll start with recommended pivot tables just so you can see what that looks like. So what Excel does in the pop-up that appears is give you a few different options for how you might want to summarize the data. So this is an example, sum of unit price, price by product number. We might not be as interested in that. Uh, here's another one, sum of total costs by order category. That's a, a little more useful. Um, but what we want to do is actually start with a blank pivot table so you can see how to, um, how to do that. So we'll go back to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Table. A pop-up appears that basically, basically asks us if we want to insert this into a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. We'll just click OK. And then this is what appears, a new sheet. And then what you'll see on the left-hand side, which is highlighted here, your blank pivot table space. And then what you'll see on the right-hand side is your list of fields in the original table. And then areas on your pivot table. So you've got filters, columns, rows, and values. So to see how this works, the first thing that we'll want to do, or we can try to do, is just select or check the total costs button. And what this is going to do is move that total costs field over to the values uh, area. And in our pivot table, you can see that all it's doing is just summing all of the total costs in the uh, previous sheet. Now, to add some dimension to our pivot table, what we may want to do is let's actually take the order category and we're going to move that to rows. So what this is going to do now is put the order categories in the rows and tell us how many costs or how, much, how many sales we have for each of those order categories. So it's just a way to slice that data up for us. We're not actually summarizing order, ca order category, we're just using that um, to break up our sales. We can also move it over to columns too. It just kind of depends on how you'd visually like to see it. What we're gonna do now is uncheck order category, and maybe we wanna see um, costs by product number. So we'll drag product number down to the rows, and now what we'll see is it's taken that total cost column and broken up those costs by product number. Okay, what we're going to do now is just clear our table, we'll start fresh, and we're going to take a look at quantity now. So we can check quantity, that's going to move it over to the values field, and what it's going to do now is sum all of the quantity that we've sold. We can take our product number, drag that down to the rows, and now what it's going to do is tell us the quantity that we've sold by product number, because we've got product number in the rows, and our quantity is in the values section. Okay, one thing that we can do too is add an additional field into our rows area. And we'll, we'll put order category right before the product number. And what this is gonna do now is group or separate our, our quantity sold by the order category and then by the product. Just another way, again, to slice up our data. And you can actually add as many fields as you want to that row area and it'll just continue to, to break out those slices. What we could also do too is move over that order category to the columns. So we've got our product numbers in the rows and our order categories in the columns. So this will tell us not only by product number, but also by order category, how many we've sold. What I think is helpful is if you just start you know, moving things around, dragging and dropping to see how it looks in different ways. We can also move order category over to the filter section. So this allows us to filter our quantity sold by order category. So we'll just select multiple items, uh, uncheck everything, and then we wanna take a look maybe at small and normal orders. So this will filter down all of our quantity sold 
by small and normal orders, and then by product number in those rows. So you can start to see how, um, how many different ways there are to, to start exploring your data. Okay, so we're actually gonna put order category back into the rows so you can see quantity sold by um, order category and then by product. And we're actually gonna change our headers here just to make it a little bit easier for folks to read. So we're gonna, we change it to quantity sold on the right. And then we'll change this to products on the left. Just so when for folks read this, they, they can make sense of it. What we can do also is go to the design tab and it gives us different options to format our, our pivot table. So it makes it a little bit easier to read. And so we'll try this option here. Kind of pretties it up for us. And another thing that we can do is we can right click the values and then sort it by largest to smallest. So we might wanna see within each order category, we might wanna easily see which ones were the top three sold and which ones were the bottom three. By sorting it, it makes it easier for folks to interpret it. 